Hey guys and dolls and welcome into another video. My name is Jason and I have some really exciting news for you guys. A new partnership lined up with the Palantir stock. Now the Palantir symbol is PLTR, the ticker symbol. And if you don't know who they are, then I would recommend going onto this video right now and watching this first because I do a full in-depth breakdown of who Palantir are and then come back on here so you have more awareness because they are incredible guys. They are an amazing company and they are working with top governments, top companies right now around the world and they are going to grow tremendously in my opinion throughout the coming decade. ARK Invest have been scooping up shares like mad, especially even in these times and we had recently seen a big sell-off in that share price as you can see now on my screen we actually had highs of $44 and we did go all the way down to about $20 now nothing in my eyes has changed for this company again this is just some negative outlooks and press and I think that this has been very very undersold so right now we are presented an absolute gift and today they did announce a brand new deal so I'm going to come onto the business one and you guys can see that Plantia and Ferasia embark on long-term strategic partnership so I just want to give you a tiny bit of background before I read on this who Ferasia are now, if I go to Yahoo Finance, you guys can see that Freesia are a $6.3 billion company. So guys, this is no small company. Again, you know how Palantir loves to scoop up those, <laughs> those partnerships with those really high-end companies in the multi-billions. And Freesia, together with its subsidiaries, manufactures and sells automotive equipment in France and Germany. So basically, they are doing this around Europe and they are also global. So it says here that they do it also in North America, South America, Asia, and internationally. And what they are doing, guys, is they are making seating interiors and cleaning mobility and electronic segments they have lots of different elements to their business but essentially this merger is going to allow Palantir to use their data and help analyze them get new clients so it says here that uh, Palantir Technologies announced today it has entered into a six-year strategic partnership with Ferasia one of the world's leading automotive technology companies to accelerate its digital transformation and ambition to be CO2 neutral so this is really really big guys and the, the the thing that I love about it I'm just gonna highlight it is the fact that it is a six-year contract so this is no uh, six-month contract you know this is a really really big deal Palantir do absolutely love getting those long-term contracts and they seem to just be winning out every every single week or two they seem to be coming up with more news so this company I really do believe are gonna absolutely dominate in the future I mean I think a few days ago I just did a video on them how they have partnered with Amazon web service um, and we all know how Amazon is a trillion dollar company, guys. So I really do think that Palantir are set for the sky. So it says here, Palantir Foundry was designed to help organizations integrate disparate data sources and make the best possible use of their data. Ferisia will use Palantir's Foundry software to gain further insight into its data across the company from manufacturing to purchasing, from engineering to finances. So again, it's all of those top-notch data uh, that Palantir uses that this company are going to need to start making those savings on their balance sheet. Built on top of Ferisia's IT portfolio and contact cloud services, Palantir's Foundry will allow Ferisia to reduce raw materials, consumption, improve R&D competitiveness, secure purchasing excellence, and track and measure overall CO2 efforts. So guys, it is really important to know that Palantir are going to be saving a lot of businesses in the long term money because that is how they work. They're kind of like a crystal ball. They look into the crystal ball and they can see in the future where a company is essentially going to run into problems. They can then refer back as an artificial intelligence platform and they can tell um, the CEO, for example, that this is a problem and they will point it out and the CEO can then act and change what needs to be done so this is going to allow them to have those extra secure um, you know track record it's going to allow them to have that R&D competitiveness because they're going to be able to advance their research and development in ways that the computer will allow them because this technology is so so advanced guys and again they are working with like the US government and the US army so this, this uh, data has been used in the past to track people like Saddam Hussein. Um, so again, it's worth noting how, how important this company is going to be, I think, for larger companies moving forward. And I think that we do have a lot more partnerships that will come out throughout the course of the next year with Palantir. So it says the partnership with Palantir will trigger a major new step in our digital transformation, allowing to robustly scale our digitalization actions, developing and strengthening our large-scale data capture and analyze will further increase agility and 
enhance and use artificial intelligence and increase decision support. So this is really, really good news, guys. I'm going to link the article down for you because I don't want to go over the whole thing. But essentially, it is some really, really big news. If we go on to the stock price for Palantir today, again, we can see that we did actually finally break out of that uh, consolidation, that downtrend that we were having. Again, this was tested multiple times. And I think I did draw this up on my last video. So again, we had tested this three times. We've now broken above it. So what I'm expecting is the new floor to be around that 21 uh, EMA. So I'm expecting Palantir to come back and retest hopefully at some point in the next few days onto that 21 EMA which will take us around that $25 zone maybe a bit less. So if we can get any um, pullbacks in the share price and you haven't made a position yet this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. These are just my opinions, views and what I'm doing with my money and again this is just for education and entertainment only then I'm personally going to be putting in a few more shares if we do have any more downside and especially if we do actually see a sell-off and we do come down to this very low support line of about $21 then that is where I'm personally going to be loading up my boat for the long term and I'm going to be very happy because I do have a price target on Palantir by the end of the year for about 37 to 38 dollars which again guys might not seem like a lot but in the long run this company i believe in about two or three years is easily going to be a triple digit multi-bagger stock so i'm holding um palantir for the long run i won't be selling any shares anytime soon unless of course this shoots off to the moon and um, we have reason to sell obviously due to catalysts but i am going to be loading up with this one i think that this is going to be at least a three four or five year play for me inside my portfolio and i really do look forward to the day that this is going to be over a hundred dollars plus again these are just just my opinions and my views. I would love to hear from you in the comments what your thoughts are on Palantir, if you are in fact buying any shares right now, or if you are selling any shares, and what you do think of this article. I will link it below. As I said, enjoy watching that video if you haven't already and you do want to learn more about Palantir, then again, make sure to check out that video that I did link at the beginning of this video. I hope to see you guys back on my channel soon. Don't forget to like this video as always and hit that big red subscribe button if you did make it this far. I just want to say thank you. My name is Jason and I appreciate you coming onto this channel and giving me that support. I hope you guys all have a lovely, lovely weekend ahead and I hope to see you back on my channel soon for some more content on investing. Stay safe, stay positive and stay green. I'll see you guys soon. Ciao.